Take a look at this family photo. Can you see that the color of the child's eyes is blue, just like her parents? Now, take a look at this picture. Here, the child has light brown hair, while that of his parents is black. What accounts for such similarities and differences? The answer to this and several related questions are dealt with in genetics, a branch of biology that studies inheritance and variations in characters among related organisms, largely in their evolutionary aspects. Inheritance is the basis of heredity. It is the process of passing characters from parents to offspring. Variation, on the other hand, is the degree by which an offspring differs from its parents. Human beings have been using their knowledge of genetics since prehistoric times. Our ancestors knew that sexual reproduction was one of the causes of variation. Based on this principle, they practiced domestication and selective breeding of animals and plants. For example, the Sahiwal cow found in Punjab was obtained through artificial selection and the domestication of ancestral wild cows. However, our ancestors had very little knowledge about the scientific basis of genetics. It was only in the mid-19th century that advances were made in the field of genetics by Gregor Johann Mendel. Mendel was an Augustinian priest and scientist who gained fame posthumously for spearheading the science of genetics. He proposed several laws of inheritance by conducting extensive research and hybridization experiments on garden peas or by some sativum for about seven years. Hybridization is the process of crossing two individuals differing in at least one character resulting in a hybrid individual. The reason for Mendel choosing common pea plants for his research was that the plant had various contrasting characters such as length of the plant, color of the pod and shape of the seed that were visible to the naked eye. Moreover, self-pollination as well as cross-pollination was possible in these plants and crossing between these plants could be controlled. In addition, these plants grow quickly and produce a large number of offspring. Mendel, for the first time, had applied statistical analysis and mathematical logic to problems in biology. He chose 14 pairs of true breeding pea lines similar in all aspects except for one character to conduct cross-pollination or artificial pollination experiments. A true breeding line exhibits stable trait inheritance and expression for many generations due to continuous self-pollination. Round or wrinkled seeds, yellow or green seeds, green or yellow pods and tall or dwarf plants were some of the contrasting traits chosen by Mendel. The use of true breeding lines helped Mendel create a basic framework of rules relating to inheritance, which were later expanded as scientists discovered new information pertaining to genetics. Also, the data collected by Mendel was quite credible as he had used a large sampling size for his experiments. Moreover, as he conducted experiments on several generations of test plants, it helped him confirm his inferences and prove that his rules were not unconfirmed ideas, but general rules of inheritance in all living organisms. However, the world had to wait till the end of the 20th century to understand the significance of Mendel's discoveries. Due to his valuable research in the field of genetics, Mendel came to be known as the father of genetics. 
and the rediscovery of his laws laid the foundation for the modern science of genetics. Now, let's take a look at the different terms that we come across while studying genetics. A gene or a factor is the functional unit of heredity material, that is, DNA. In other words, it is a unit of DNA that is responsible for the appearance and inheritance of a character. The alternative form of a gene located at a specific position on a specific chromosome is known as the allele. It governs the trait of an individual and is generally represented by a letter. A trait can be defined as a distinct variant of an organism's phenotypic character, which may be inherited or environmentally determined. For example, the color of petals is a character or an attribute, while the colors pink, violet and white are traits. The genetic makeup of an organism is designated by the term genotype, while the appearance of the organism is designated by the term phenotype. Also, every organism possesses two alleles for each character. If these two alleles for a particular character are identical, the gene is said to be homozygous or pure and the individual is called a homozygote. On the other hand, if an organism possesses two contrasting or different alleles in a pair, the gene is called heterozygous and the individual is called a heterozygote. In a heterozygote, only one of the contrasting genes is able to express itself, while the other gene remains hidden. This gene, which expresses itself in the F1 hybrid, is called the dominant gene, while the gene that is unable to express itself is called the recessive gene. F1 hybrid or first filial generation is the first generation of plants or animals obtained from cross-mating distinctly different parent types. When two individuals of the first filial generation are self-fertilized, the resulting progeny is called the second filial generation or F2 hybrid. Self-fertilization is the term used when fertilization takes place between male and female gametes from the same individual. The study of inheritance of one pair of contrasting characters is known as a monohybrid cross. For example, the study of inheritance of tall and dwarf plants, while the study of inheritance of two pairs of contrasting characters is known as a dihybrid cross. For example, the study of inheritance of round and yellow seeds and wrinkled and green seeds. To determine if an individual is homozygous dominant, heterozygous or homozygous recessive, a back cross or a test cross is carried out. A back cross is a cross between the F1 generation progeny and any of its parents. While a test cross is a part of a back cross between F1 individuals with a homozygous recessive parent and it is performed to determine the unknown genotype. Thus, genetics explains how traits are passed on from parents to their young ones and the principles governing genetics were discovered by Gregor Johann Mendel, the father of genetics.